more rows. What do I even need so many rows for? Hello everyone, it's me again, the guy with a plant on his head. After being kicked out and left on the streets, there is one thing that keeps me up at night. And no, I'm not talking about how the government hates homeless people. Instead, I was thinking about something much less important. Everyone knows that not all protagonists are saints in stories. Characters could do some terrible things and the story can still work. Some good stories are even centered around villains. Look at Breaking Bad, which is 4.3 points higher than Morbius on IMDb. Yes, that's the scale I'm using. The main character, Walter White, is an immoral crime lord. Sussy baka. He had to say that the internet ruined one of the best scenes in this show. When I watch this scene, all I can think about is that goddamn meme. Oh my god, the internet sucks. Wonder Woman 1984 Directed by Patty Jenkins, who is known for films such as Wonder Woman. This film is considered the best film in the DCEU, according to IMDb. Oh wait, I arranged the list wrong. It's actually the worst film in the DCEU. I think everyone else had already crapped on this movie so much that it would be pointless to I want to be number one, an apex predator. Lions, tigers, death thing from the jungle book, those are apex predators. But cheetah, this cheetah? No way, this is why you lose, idiots. Anyway, on to my main point, Chris Pine got resurrected into someone else's body. A bunch of unimportant stuff later, they had sex. Now remember, Chris Pine took over someone else's body. Yikes. But Wonder Woman didn't care. Because she was... Horny? Huh? Anyway, this morality mess became one of the reasons why people hate that movie. One of many reasons why. Star vs. The Forces of Evil is a Disney show that focuses on a bunch of kids and magic. And drugs are probably involved. It's not really that clear. Not gonna lie, my favorite episode from this show is the episode where Star, uh, Star is the main character by the way, if it's not obvious from the title. So in that episode, Star ran from the law and lived in a flood control channel. Yeah, it took me half an hour to figure out that they are called flood control channels. Star then probably took some drugs because she hallucinated a giant dragon. Oh wait, I got off topic again. In the series finale, Star had to go against an army of buff races inside Giant Max, led by her mother. Yes, you can't make this up. And yet the writers made this up. Star decided that she wouldn't use a deadly spell to destroy the robots because it was too destructive. How noble. Instead, she decided to destroy magic itself, killing all magical creatures in the process. Yup, all magical creatures in every single dimension. I'd like to thank the writers for reassuring us that Star was making the right choice. I always had the feeling this stuff did more harm than good. I think you made the right choice. I'm proud of you, kid. And now, this is a kid that knows how to make the right choice. If she had used the spell, there might be casualties, which is bad. That's why I'm glad she chose to murder an uncountable number of creatures. Wait, why would you use the deadly spell again? Great, so when Scarlet Witch enslaves and tortures the town of people, she is misunderstood. But if I enslave and torture children in my basement, it is illegal. What kind of world is this? It's nice that one official talked about how mismanaged grief can be destructive. But then, the show decided that it needed a villain. Because oh my god, this character is in the comics. The show introduced Agatha to distract the audience from Wanda's crimes. Look at this, Agatha killed a dog. That is much worse than mind controlling the whole town. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. Wanda apologized I'm to sorry. Monica Rainbow or whatever her name was, but not directly to the townspeople. She didn't appear to have repaid the townspeople in some way before leaving. That was not moral at all. And no, removing the hex doesn't count. That was the bare minimum. Wanda's previous pain and suffering won't give her a free pass to not take full responsibility for her actions. 
This show really undercuts how terrifying it is to have your free will taken away. If you use the aftermath of kidnapping victims as a reference, the townspeople of Westfield are likely to develop mental disorders like PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Personally, I would rather die than be mind-controlled and tortured, but that doesn't say much because I prefer death over many things. Are we supposed to take Wanda's side just because she graciously gave the townspeople their free will back? This ending was so annoying that I was tricked into thinking that Multiverse of Madness is a perfect film, just because they finally acknowledged that what Wanda did was fit and level. But yes, Multiverse of Madness is the best MCU non avenger movie. If you disagree, I will fight you. Black Bolt could destroy you with one whisper from his mouth. I'm the smartest man alive. Reed Richards. Scrap that. It is the best MCU movie. So, does morality matter? The verdict is... Kind of? I think the real problem in these three examples is not in morality, but instead it comes down to this. Characters making unreasonable immoral decisions. And the story ignores these decisions or pretends that they were justified. In other words, the real problem is bad writing regarding immoral decisions. I hate guns. Wonder Woman was supposed to be a virtuous superhero. To think that she would let Chris Pine rob another person's body with the hesitation is ridiculous. It does not fit her character. The movie did not even treat this as an issue, but I think I know the real reason. The conspiracy theory behind it all, Patty Jenkins didn't realize this was an issue. Yeah, it is this simple. Okay, by the way, I just realized Chris Pine is the name of the actor. There's no way, in no scenario, that killing all magical creatures in the multiverse was better than using a deadly spell. Anyone who put thought into this would know how stupid this decision was. But somehow, none of the characters realized it. Call me crazy, but maybe this is because the writers did not realize it. The writers tried to convince us that destroying magic was the right thing to do. They repeated magic bad over and over again, hoping that they could brainwash us into agreeing. But it didn't work. Similar to how the government tried to brainwash us into thinking that birds are real, when everyone knows the truth. Birds are drones designed to spy on citizens, especially homeless people. We're doing the Force Challenge! Wanda mind controlled and tortured the townspeople unintentionally because of grief. There's nothing wrong with this part. God, that sounds so bad out of context. The show established that what Wanda did was wrong. I meant there is nothing wrong with the writing of that immoral decision. The problem is what happened next. Wanda only said sorry to one person and left right after. That is the real problematic immoral decision. Try to say that three times fast. Wanda's apology meant nothing because she didn't reinforce it with action. A truly remorseful person will take responsibility and try to make amends. It's like the show is saying, hey, we know that what Wanda did was wrong. But since she went through a lot of pain, all is forgiven. Look, I'm sorry. she says sorry. So we are all good. The writers failed to look at what Wanda did in a vacuum and focused on Wanda's pain and loss. Possibly influenced by their sympathy towards Wanda and their love for her character, they couldn't see clearly the true horrors experienced by the townspeople. And that is truly frustrating. Morality does matter in movies and shows in a way. Immoral decisions have to make sense and be explainable. Also, the story cannot frame them as ethical. In simpler words, don't be bad at writing. You can say that this applies to any decision characters make. That is true. Don't but care. poorly written immoral decisions stand out because most humans hate immorality, even more so than the government's hatred towards the homeless. There are many reasons for this. A simple explanation is the lack of morals implies chaos. To a species that relies on our brains, chaos is terrifying, but not as terrifying as the government. Okay, I'll end the discussion here. I won't get deeper into why many humans hate immorality. I also won't get into the definition of morality, because boy would those discussions be long. Let's go back to actions that most people consider immoral, like allowing body stealing and having non-consensual sex with the body, casually killing half the multiverse instead of using a dangerous spell, leaving without taking responsibility after mind-controlling and torturing a tongue. Oh yeah, 
installing this so the homeless don't have a place to sleep. Don't write immoral decisions by accident. Please look at your story from an ethical perspective. If you do write immoral decisions, approach them carefully and think about how you would react to those decisions. Rick and Morty and other dark comedies work because the writers don't try to convince the audience that the characters are moral. Wanda Fisher did at least one thing right. They showed why Wanda enslaved the town. Hence why some people on the internet take Wanda's side. As Ab and Adir said in the severely underrated show community, Your story is not scary because the characters are making choices the audience wouldn't make. Bad writing is when the audience cannot see themselves making the same decisions as the characters. A well-written story can convince the audience that they would do the same thing under those circumstances. No one likes bad writing unless it's so bad that it's good, like Morbius. Immoral choices are especially hard to write because the writers have to think deeply about ethics to write them, and some writers can't do that. The immoral nature of those decisions is never mm -hmm. the problem. Stop using ethics as a scapegoat. <laughs> the real culprit, as always, is bad writing. And the government, of course. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, please. Comment below other awfully written immoral choices in movies or shows. And I will see you next year for my next upload. Just kidding, I'll upload more frequently unless the government kills me for being homeless. Bye. The aftermath of use the use the aftermath. If if you use the af if you use the aftermath of math if you use the aftermath of if you use the aftermath if you use the aftermath of the if we use the aftermath of kid if we use the aft if we use the aftermath if we use the aftermath if we use the aftermath